Yo, what up guys? In this video, I'll be going over some tips and tricks I've learned in the first few days of Season 15. Things such as movement tricks, good escape routes to heal or play solo with, and various other tricks and tips that may elevate your gameplay in Season 15. Hope you enjoy. With the newly added zipline roller coaster, rotations are quicker than ever, but you can also use them to escape a team as a solo, reposition, and take the fight where you want. As you may know, some ziplines are connected with a building in between them. The buildings with the zipline on the bottom allow you to super jump to the second floor from the first floor, like so. Here's an example with a keyboard and mouse overlay. Be sure to slow the video down if that helps. The zip connector buildings are good to fight that solo. If you climb to this side ledge, you can head glitch your enemies, creating an angle forcing them to move, allowing you to put out damage in advance as they scramble. If the stairs are blocked, use the fireplace to get to the second floor instead. Not all zip connector buildings are the same though. There are some that have both powered and normal zip lines attached to the second floor. Using the zip lines on the sides and the top of the building are also good for creating angles. Next, North and South Promenade, aka Third Party Central. There is a lot of great zip jump spots to create cheeky plays here. Super jump on top of the box or climb it. Then 180 super jump in order to gain roof access. You can super jump to the zip lines attached to the buildings while slightly tap shaping the direction of the zip line. On the other end of the POI, you can super jump around the pillars in order to make a really good play. Heading inside the POI, you can use the powered rail to get in various spots to heal or be a stinky rat. Climbing the doors and using a 180 super jump can balance on a beam to heal. Jumping down from there, you can also balance on top of the rail system to wait for someone coming by. Going up to the north side next to Stasis Array, we have this building with multiple zip lines. On the water side zip line, hit a super jump to take the zip in either direction. Pull one up on Stasis Array, we can super jump off the zip line to gain roof access. This is good for when players are inside. Instead of climbing in front of the door, use this. Over at the core, we have a few climb and height tips. Use the blue powered centrifuge to boost up to mid instead of running up the ramps. There are various objects to climb up to gain height advantage. For example, this pillar I'm on can be used to shoot or to hop on the wall to reposition. Another good peak spot is to climb these boxes and shoot down on the opponents once you reach height. Boxes like these are scattered all around the core. Make sure to use them to position yourself proper. Terraformer is mainly good for height gaining legends. This is pretty self-explanatory, but I don't see people using these to get over the wall ever. You can go on either side. Pretty good for quick escapes. You can super jump on top of the rail system to then climb the wall and get height advantage once again. Lastly, you can wall bounce onto this ledge to hide or heal from your enemies. In certain spots on the map, there are quote unquote safe zones marked in blue. These blue zones are lifts that keep you safe and allow you to float back to the ground. Maybe you'll be able to rotate across by floating, or maybe it could be used in a trick shot. Dry Gulch. In my opinion, the best solo landing spot on Broken Moon. Use these two small windows to crawl up and hide after dropping from height. Super jump to second floor, and then once again, to gain roof access. Let's pretend that someone is holding this door. Use the window to peek them. The zipline is connected to the same exact building across from it. Don't look towards the building you want to get on top of, it won't work. Instead, while looking away from the building, 180 super jump with the momentum of the rope to get on top of the building. Zipping into Eternal Gardens, there's some neat tricks you can do here. The rooftops of these buildings may look steep, but you can climb them and play them, just like a lot of buildings in this map. Always try and use height advantage to rain down shots on your opponent. It'll make your fights much easier to win. In the center of the POI, we have a building with a balloon and two zips. Using the balloon zip line, you can super jump to the basement zip line while reconnecting, crouching, and sliding out the door to heal. After you healed up, super jump from the basement to ground floor, and then super jump with a tap strafe to bamboozle your enemy with movement. Last spot of Eternal Gardens is the craziest of them all. Ride the zip to the top of the balloon, but do not take it. Jump when you reach the top and sit on the ledge, heal, or wait. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. This is the first time for something like this. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye. Thank you.